Governor Schwarzenegger in California has made service, the service czar in California, a cabinet level appointment. If you were president, would you do the same and make service a cabinet level appointment? And would you perhaps ask Senator Obama to be the member of your cabinet for national service? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Senator Obama, this uh, question of whether or not national service would be elevated to a cabinet-level position. Among other things, Senator McCain said that if it were that, he would ask you to be his uh, <laughs> secretary. Would you ask him, if you're elected president, to Well, I mean, if this, the, if this is the deal service? he wants to make right now, I, I am committed to appointing him uh, to my cabinet national service. Some lighter moments from Barack Obama and John McCain tonight in the middle of a forum on the serious subject of national service. Digging deeper on that and Sarah Palin, we're back with our panel, John King, Candy Crowley, David Gergen, and Mark Halpern. Uh, David, John McCain was asked about Governor Palin sarcastically referring to Obama's community service to the Republican convention. Let's listen to that. Your running mate, vice presidential nominee Sarah Palin, made somewhat derisive mm. comments about mm. uh, Senator Obama's experience as a community organizer. I've heard you say you haven't taken that tone. So I guess my question is, are you saying to others in your campaign and your supporters that that's not the kind of language you want to hear? Well, how, the, how, do you, how are you approaching that? Look, uh, Governor Palin was responding to the criticism of her inexperience and her job as a mayor in a small town. That's what she was responding to. Of course I respect community organizers. Of course I respect people who serve their community. And uh, Senator Obama's record there is outstanding. Uh, and so I, I, I praise anyone who serves this nation in capacities that, frankly, we all know that could have been far more financially rewarding to individuals rather than doing what they did. Less significant yeah. than the work of a small town mayor? I think a, a small town mayor ha, uh, has very great responsibilities. They have responsibility for the budget. They have hiring and firing of people. They have great responsibilities. They have to stand for election. Uh, I, I admire mayors. I, I'm, listen, mayors have the toughest job, I think, in America. It's easy for me to go to Washington and, and frankly, uh, be somewhat divorced from the day-to-day -day challenges people have. So I admire mayors. I, am, I admire anyone who is willing to serve their community and their country. You know, David, it's interesting when a candidate is asked specifically about some of the kind of the nastier or meaner elements that are coming out of their campaigns, they kind of back off, um, and yet they allow this stuff still to float out there. Well, they sure do, and, but I, both candidates tonight were in a very conciliatory mood. mood. They agreed on a great deal, and for that reason, I, this was not as electric as the debates will be, but it was still a significant evening, Anderson, in a couple of ways. It, it brought back some of the civility to the campaign that's been so badly lacking here in recent weeks. It was an enormous lift to the National Service movement, a movement inspired mostly by the younger generation, and they got a commitment tonight from both candidates to expand the size of AmeriCorps from 75,000 people a year to 250,000 a year, mostly young people. That would really change our culture, our political culture. And I think it gave us a foretaste again of the debates that are coming. And it said very clearly tonight, once again, John McCain had a good night, just as he did at Saddleback. He's going to be tough in those debates, much tougher than people think. Tonight, unlike Saddleback, when Barack Obama was weak, he was much better himself tonight, so that it was pretty tied. But I think this is, suggests these are going to be very close closely fought debates uh, come uh, you know, September 26 and beyond. You've seen them back to back, no doubt about it. These are two incredibly strong candidates w with pluses and minuses on, on bo on, for both of them, frankly. Mark Obama was asked about his reaction to, to those same comments made about his community service at the convention. Let's listen to his answer. We asked Senator McCain the same question about Governor Palin's belittling being a community organizer. Did the Democrats in return belittle being a small town mayor? Was she, was she being unfair? Or was it hypocritical because Republicans actually say, hey, uh, what people do in their private life is more important than public service? Well, listen, we, we've had an awful lot of small town mayors at the Democratic uh, convention, I assure you. Uh, I, I meet them all the time. And I have, uh, the mayors have some of the toughest jobs in the country because that's where the rubber hits the road. You know, we yak in the Senate. They actually have to fill potholes and uh, 
trim trees and, and uh, uh, make sure the garbage is, is uh, taken away. So uh, I was surprised by um, the several remarks around community organizing and, and belittling it. Um, you know, when I think about the choice I made as a 23, 24-year-old to spend three years working with churches to help people help themselves, uh, no insult to the president of this fine institution, but it was the best education I ever had because it taught me that ordinary people can do extraordinary things. Mark, what do you think of that response and also overall what you saw from Obama and from McCain tonight? Anderson, is this show on a seven second delay in case I use profanity? Because if I'm commenting <laughs> on Senator McCain's answer, I might have to. You know, to disavow any responsibility for what went on in his convention, they clearly had a strategy to make fun of Barack Obama's public service, and I think Senator McCain uh, did not give a fully honest answer on that. I don't think Senator Obama was totally honest either. I think he was more than disappointed. I think he was probably angry about the, what happened. Today was a remarkable day in this election. Yesterday was, and, and the day before, were incredibly raucous. Today, because of the power of the memory of 9-11, because of the uh, commitment both of these men truly have to public service, I think it brought them both, both up. You saw little indirect j uh, jabs that each of them made. But for the most part, I think they both felt good about having an effectively a day off what has been incredibly heated exchanges. Um, and I think we'll see tomorrow, as at least one person in your control room would like, a return to the engagement that we've seen. The stakes are very high. And the tension's very high. And both of these guys, again, despite the handshake and the hug on stage, I think both of them are pretty angry about what's gone on in the last few days. Uh, Candy, uh, how, I mean, how does it change the campaign? They, as Mark said, they took this time out today, really in respect for the, the memory of 9-11. Is it a good thing for, for Obama to kind of reassess and step back, a good thing for, for McCain? Well, I'm not sure they're reassessing, but they're, they definitely step back for the day. I've, I have seen both of these men over the course of the past uh, 19 months say things themselves. I'm not even talking about, you know, something their vice presidential candidate said or a surrogate said, that they then walked back. I, the fact of the matter is they are spending, uh, I mean, don't cry for them, Argentina, but they are spending a lot of long hours on this campaign trail. The stakes are incredible. Uh, they are meeting people all the time, having to be on their game all all the time they get angry uh, something comes in that they're not expecting and they bite back and I think this was a, this probably was welcomed and I know it was welcomed uh, in the Obama campaign I'm sure it was in the McCain campaign as a time to kind of you know step back a little from what has been sort of this increasingly uh, acrimonious atmosphere because they do sometimes overextend themselves and cross that line and they do regret it but I think they will go back to certain things tomorrow yeah, John, does, it, does the battle change tomorrow at all? I mean, are we seeing evolution in this campaign? Well, we are told we will see an evolution out of Barack Obama, who has been debating Sarah Palin, not John McCain, in the past week. And he's been getting all sorts of advice to make more of a connection with real people, try to humanize yourself, and number one, get back to jobs, 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 McCain, McCain, McCain. And we're told he will do that. We're also told he will be on Saturday Night Live this weekend, where I can bet that they will encourage him to get involved in a skit about you-know-who, Sarah Palin. So we'll see how this all plays out over the next few days, Anderson. But they do say in the Obama campaign they realize they've been knocked off balance and they need to get back on the economy and linking McCain to Bush and try to ignore Sarah Palin to the degree they can.